The hardest thing to do in Scotland is actually get some sleep before the World Championships. That's the thing for me. You just don't know what the morning and the day is going to bring. So the night before sometimes of the Worlds is a real challenge, you know? This is how world champions look first thing in the morning. The haggis is up momentarily. Okay. Big breakfast, including haggis. That's the number one thing. A sausage, bacon, eggs, haggis, it's all out, you know? I've been doing this since I was a kid. A big breakfast every day before you go to the world sticks with you. Sometimes you don't want to eat later on because you start to get a little bit nervous, you know, just the excitement of the day. Stay in the zone. That's all you need to do. Miles, how you doing, man? I'm ready for war. Ready for war. <laughs> man, I'm ready for war. You look like it. Are you scared here? No, not really. Nervous. <laughs> Excited? Yes. Very. Did you sleep? No, because somebody was playing drums at 10.30 at night right outside my window. You've got three minutes. Three minutes? Till the bus is gone at 7.30? Yep. Uh, the bus leaves at 7.30. I know. So hurry up. And your kilt's pressed, your socks are clean, flashes are ironed. And then the bus comes and then it's kind of a nervous bus ride. The morning of the world's like when we actually get there, um, it's kind of just utter craziness. And you see bands marching off one by one and you think to yourself, oh no, it's finally time. <laughs> and it is really nerve wracking. Mm -hmm.